Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for Chapter 5 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, 2nd edition. So in this video, what we're going to do is look at labeling and relabeling uh, variable values. Uh, so we often uh, will, like, uh, will want to do this, um, especially if we have, say, a numeric variable, or a variable that's read in as numeric, but it's actually a factor and it has uh, meaningful labels. So um, I guess we don't, you know, if, if you know what the values are and you're just doing statistical analysis, you don't really necessarily have to label the values. Um, but when we're doing data visualization, we normally will want to in order to show the values on the variable. There's different ways to do it, but um, uh, just, just doing the labels um, and creating a new variable um, is a good is a good way is a good approach. So let's let's just take a look here. So we are going to add labels to the urban variable that's part of the the SIMD data set. So um, let's just remind us what this looks like. Okay, so SIM we we'll just do glimpse SIMD highlight that. Okay, uh, so this is the this is the sort of one original one we read in. Um, see down here, here's urban, and it has values of zero and one. So we know it's a dummy variable. Um, oftentimes, if you see a dummy variable and one and the name of the variable um, is one of the two values, usually it's corresponding to the higher value, the one. Um, but also we can look at the code book and see that one is, is corresponding to urban areas and zero is to rural areas, but we don't see that in the data, right? Just a zero and one. So let's add labels to this variable. Um, okay. So we, let's do it like this. We're going to do, um, SIMD. We'll just, we're just adding, so we don't necessarily need to save it as a new object. Um, SIMD, and we're going to use the mutate function to create a new variable. And we're gonna do this in two steps, actually. Um, we are going to first create a factor version of urban, and then we will add the labels. So we're gonna do urban, and we're gonna do urban underscore FCT for factor. So this is our new variable name. And we are going to convert it by as underscore factor. Uh, you can do as dot factor, the underscore is part of tidyverse urban. And then we're gonna do comma, and we can do we can do the same one. Again, I kind of said like it's good practice to change it. I think we're okay. Um we're not changing the original, we're not changing urban itself. We're not like overwriting urban. So if we mess it up, we can rerun this, fix it, and rerun it because we still have the original urban. All right. So we have urban FCT equals, and then we're going to use a function called recode. As you see from dplyr, recode um, the variable name urban FCT, comma. I'm just going to pull this back a little. And when we add labels here, um, so we have zero and one. We're when we when we add the labels here, we 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 put the we put the original first and then set it equal to what we want the new label to be. So this is one. So we need to put these dashes so it's recognized as as we're talking about a label, not not like a number, the number one. Um, so I'm going to do one equals urban, comma, zero equals rural. All right, let's see if this works. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, then we'll figure it out and fix it. Okay, so that seemed to have worked. Let's do a quick glimpse just to see. It should be at the bottom. Right, so we can see down here we have zeros corresponding to rural. I guess you can't because it's going out all the way. We could check it with the count if we want. Um, just to see, let's, let's do that. Let's do that really quickly. Let's just uh, check it out, make sure 
that it worked just because we can't see it in the window there. So we're gonna do SIMD and then count urban FCT. All right, yep, that worked. And you can see too what the numbers are corresponding to here. So rural is one. It changed it from zero and one, but it's it's the same thing. <laughs> I mean, it's not the same thing, but it is effectively the same thing. Okay, so let's say that we want to change existing labels. Um, so we just added those. So let's say like, oh, we don't like this one, change something else. It's the, ex the code is the exact same. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna copy this code, come down, paste it, um, we don't need this line here anymore because it's already a factor. But we're going to do a new, we're going to create a new variable and we'll call it urban factor one. Very ingenious. Um, again, we have to put the old first. So we're going to do urban and let's change it to city. And let's change rural to uh, boonies. Not the Goonies, the Boonies. Okay, so that looks right. Okay, let's run this. Hopefully it works. Okay, yep. And then I'm just gonna copy this and we're gonna take a look just to see how it changed. Add the one to Urban FCT. Yep, so we now see it's Boonies and City. Okay, so that's it. Um, again, just real quick about how to add add labels. All right, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time.